A hero can be anyone, even a man doing something as simple and reassuring as putting a coat around a young boy's shoulders to let him know the world had ended. I have been a huge Batman fan for so many years. I have a Robin pin on my sash, Batman keychain on my crown bag thanks to Sally, and a huge love for the movies and comics. For those of you who don't share in my nerd culture, which is honestly probably most of you, this quote very much relates to my time as Miss Lacrosse Oktoberfest. Everyone that I have met this year has played a unique role in my life. A hero of some sort. Heroes don't save the world, or fly, or have super strength. The best part about a hero is their kindness and selflessness to put their life on hold or in danger for other people, no matter the outcome. Not because they have to, but because they choose to. What better way is there to describe Oktoberfest? Firstly, I need to thank the woman who has gone above and beyond during her role as director. As soon as we had our first meeting, I knew we instantly clicked. Sally, you have become my confidant, my person to lean on, and above all, a great friend. I know it's not easy to rein in my procrastination and, uh, I'm running a little late ways, but you never gave up and you always chose to see the best in me. I still remember telling you about going from first runner-up to not placing the next year at Miss Wisconsin, and you said, Well, Madeline, we are not going to let that happen again. From then on, you put so much work into my preparation, it made me feel relaxed going into Miss Wisconsin, which I hadn't felt in quite some time. You didn't just support my dreams, but you believed in them too. You are one of the most generous, selfless, and kind people I have ever known, and I am so thankful every day that we were brought into each other's lives. Sally, everyone who has the privilege of knowing you is better because of it. I love you so much. Thank you to Phil, Misty, Kylie, and Marna for your time in helping me prepare for Miss Wisconsin. The interviewing and dancing challenged me in so many ways, ones that go far beyond the corners of an office or dance studio. Thank you for your patience as I made mistakes, asked a lot of questions, and learned from you. I am very fortunate to have had your time and expertise at hand while preparing for my dream. Thank you so much to Brilliant Bodywork, Design Photography, Orange Pro Salon, and House Diamond Jewelers. Working with you is nothing short of fantastic. Thank you to Unity Fitness for years of relentless pep talks, check-ins, training sessions, and advice while you prepared me to compete. I initially joined to be better in the Miss America organization, but left with a different perspective on everything. Like, getting up in the morning really isn't that bad. From joking around with Alex to pep talks with Joe, Unity did so much more than just teaching me how to take care of myself. Jordan and Mandy, thank you for coming to Miss Lacrosse Oktoberfest twice and all the way to Miss Wisconsin and Oshkosh. I am constantly inspired by how hard you work and how big you dream. I've silently admired your tenacity and how you tackle each day with a positive and honest heart. You have changed the lives of everyone who has walked through your gym doors, and you have certainly changed mine. Thank you to the local directors and volunteers I have had the pleasure of meeting and working with throughout my time competing. Thank you for dedicating your time to helping young women fearlessly chase their dreams, accomplish their goals, and become better versions of themselves. A special thank you to Laura, Katie, Joanne, and Jeanette for being a relentless support system and cheering me on in whatever I do, whether it's inside or outside of the Miss America organization. This experience would not have been what it was without my fellow contestants that I love so dearly. Jessica, Elise, Mackenzie, Hannah, and Gina, thank you for getting me through the week we love so much, but the one that also tests us the most, Miss Wisconsin. You all know far too much about me and you're in too deep, so there's no turning back now. Thanks for believing in me and not taking my sarcasm to heart. I believe in you too. To April, Zoe, Krista, Mary, Emily, Tara, Sarah, and Savannah, thank you so much for making this organization one that I wanted to keep competing in. You all exemplify the Miss America, but more importantly, the Madeline that I want to be. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm joining you now. None of the experiences I had during my time in the MAO and as Miss Lacrosse Oktoberfest could have been made possible without my family. Thank you for the countless time you've put into this thing that I love so much. Mom, thank you for being the first to drop everything and help me in whatever I need. Everyone knows you are so generous and kind, but I really don't think you hear it enough or get the amount of credit you deserve. You make everyone's lives easier and you don't think anything of it. I can only hope to give my children the experience and love you have given Meg and I. My world shines brighter because you are in it 
not only as my mom, but as an angel. Dad, you are the one person I want to be most like. I am not the angel, but you accept that. This is why we are pals and you are my best one. Thank you for navigating this wild ride through the pageant world with me. I can't wait for our next adventure. Thank you for not supporting all of my ideas because I might be in trouble if you wouldn't have vetoed some of them. Okay, if you're listening to this and you're not my dad, I promise I love him very much and he is so great, but we are so sarcastic with each other. You have taught me that it is far more important to be kind to people and do things the right way than to win a bunch of titles. Like you say, Dad, we will win in the end. And my sister Meg, she is someone who will go to the ends of the earth to defend her friends. And I am just lucky that she is my sister and she has no choice. Thanks for sitting through pageants, which make you just as nervous, sometimes being my only cheerleader, and loving me when I'm probably really hard to love. You're strong, you're brilliant, you're quick-witted, and you're such a loyal friend above anything. I really, really, really hope you see in yourself what I see in you. To my Oktoberfest family, there are just simply no words to describe our year and time together. Brian, my feather, I have never met someone who is as kind and welcoming as you are. Thank you for understanding my dry sense of humor and adopting me as your daughter, which I really hope you don't regret yet. I hope you know how much you mean to me because you are one of the coolest and most fun people I have ever met. My Frau Karen, you are one of the easiest people to talk to. You really are a second mom to me and you have been so quick to look out for me and everything we have done together. I'm so glad that we share in our coffee and Starbucks addiction as one of my favorite memories is sneaking away in St. Paul to fuel it without anyone knowing. Dan and Lynn, my Mr. O and my Mrs. Oktoberfest. No one comes close to the spirit and happiness you bring to Oktoberfest. I don't think I have ever laughed as hard as when we are together. We are trouble, but we are the best kind. Jeff and Terry, blah, 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 blah. No kinder people exist than you two. You have the best energy and attitude in everything you do. I love you both to the moon and back via Disney. To Gary and Teresa, you are the coolest couple I've ever met. Pulling pranks together and sneaking away from escorts have been some of my favorite memories. Teresa, thank you so much for listening to my stories and giving me real life advice and honestly just letting me open up so much. Tim and Deb, thank you for being nothing but kind to me my entire year. Tim, thank you for also relieving my fears about flying. You have no idea how much that helped me. To Keaton, I have loved our time together and I can't wait to see you at more events. I love your smile and I cannot wait to have more fun times together. To all of the Grenadiers, you have been such a blessing and help in my life. Thank you for welcoming me with open arms into your families. Thank you for escorting me, reminding me to smile, though I promise it's really just how my face looks. I can't help it. I promise I'm happy looking after me and treating me as one of your own. You are the most fun, free-spirited, and caring group of people that I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. Everything you do does not go unnoticed, and I am just so excited for the new Miss to get to know all of you and start making incredible memories just like I have. To the new Miss Lacrosse Oktoberfest, I believe in you so much. You are so ready for this opportunity. You are given the best outlets and resources through this pageant, and now it is time for you to give back to the community that we all love so much. The amount of growth and love you will endure is immeasurable. You will do great things. I think when we focus so narrowly on something, we sometimes forget to see the bigger picture in life. It has been my dream for years to be Miss Wisconsin, but... Oktoberfest taught me a lesson far greater than the biggest crown could have. Love your family, love the people around you, and celebrate life because it's beautiful. I have gained such a different outlook on life and people because of this year. The ones that have put their time into helping me are the real heroes, and I dedicate this to them. As Batman says, our greatest glory is not in falling, but in rising every time we fall. Thank you for teaching me how to rise. For the last time, I am your Miss Lacrosse Oktoberfest 2017, Madeline Cum.